So you want to become a data analyst, but you can't get an interview no matter how many jobs you apply to, or you get interviews, but you can't pass them. Hey, what's up everyone? If you're new here, my name is Akin, and I've been working as a data analyst for over a year now. In this video, I'm going to talk about why you can't land a data analyst job, as I've also been there myself. Now, before I start, let me clarify that becoming a data analyst is absolutely achievable, and you don't necessarily need a degree to do so. With that in mind, let's dive in and explore the reasons why you might find it difficult to become a data analyst. Becoming a data analyst requires a solid foundation and technical skills, such as programming languages like SQL, R, Python, statistical knowledge, and skills in business intelligence tools. If you find yourself struggling with these technical aspects, it might hinder your progress in this field. For many data analyst positions, you probably don't have to know Python or R. They would be nice to have rather than requirements. But most likely, you have to know SQL, Microsoft Excel, and one BI tool like Tableau or Power BI. So the solution here is invest time in learning and practice. There are numerous online courses, tutorials, and coding platforms available to help you build your technical skills. I've said this many times, you shouldn't get stuck in a loophole of watching tutorials and online courses. You can only watch so many tutorials, but you need real life experience if you want to land a job in data analysis. So you're much better off working on projects where you actually use the skills you learned online and apply them to a real life scenario. Another reason why you can't become a data analyst might be that your resume is actually bad. You either lack the experience and the skills, or you have all the skills necessary and have enough experience, but overall your resume might look bad. The template you're using could be wrong. Like here in the US, we don't put picture on our resumes, no personal information like your religion, your marital status, and some other completely unnecessary things in my opinion. As far as I know, those are common in Europe, but in the US it's a no-no. Also, since almost all resumes go through an AI system before recruiters see them, you need to have the necessary keywords on there. For example, a job description, responsibilities, and qualifications have keywords that stand out to you. You should put them on your resume, which means means tailoring your resume for each role. This might be time consuming, but you don't want your resume to be eliminated before recruiters even see it, so you should have the keywords on there. I've said this countless times, having a degree is not enough to land a job in technical fields, data analysis is no exception. If you don't have relevant experiences like internships or full-time experiences, you most likely need a portfolio, something to show employers that you can apply your skills in a real-world scenario. It could be your Tableau public profile, where you have multiple dashboards you created, or it could be your GitHub account where you showcase your SQL and or Python skills. But you have to show the employer something. Otherwise Otherwise, they won't know that you can actually apply the skills. One of the key skills to have to become a data analyst is problem solving. As a data analyst, you're going to be spending most of your time problem solving. You're constantly going to get asked questions and it will require you to go into the data and dig deep to find answers and to basically solve the problem. That's why during interviews, you'll most likely get asked about the problem you faced and how you went about solving it. Understanding data analysis concepts and methodologies is important for landing a job in this field. If you lack knowledge in areas like cleaning, exploratory analysis, and hypothesis testing, you might find it challenging to become a data analyst. To solve this issue you might be having, educate yourself in data analysis principles. Take advantage of books, online resources, and courses that focus on data analysis fundamentals. Understanding these concepts will strengthen your analytical abilities. This one is similar to having a portfolio, but again, theoretical knowledge alone is not enough. Hands-on experience with real-world data is crucial to become a data analyst. If you have limited exposure to real data sets or struggle to apply your knowledge to practical scenarios, it can hinder your progress. The solution is simple but not easy gain practical experience. Seek opportunities like internships, freelance projects, or as I mentioned earlier, personal projects. You can find real-world data online from data.gov, Kaggle, CERN Open Data Portal, and from other resources. Working with real data will help you understand the complexities of data analysis and how to tackle real-world challenges. 
Data analysts often work in specific industries such as finance, marketing, technology, and in my case, it's healthcare. If you lack domain knowledge in your desired field, it might be difficult to understand data concepts and deliver valuable insights. Maybe it's not going to prevent you from getting the job, especially if it's an entry-level role, but having the domain knowledge would help you big time in landing the job you want. If you want to have the domain knowledge, immerse yourself in the domain. Engage in industry-specific reading, attend networking events, and seek advice from professionals in your desired field. Understanding the domain will improve your ability to analyze and interpret data effectively, which will help you land the data analyst job. Being a data analyst isn't just about crunching numbers, it's also about conveying insights and findings to stakeholders. If you struggle with communication skills or have difficulty explaining complex concepts in a simple manner, it can be a barrier to become a data analyst or any other job out there. Again, the solution is simple. Improve your communication skills. Work on your presentation abilities, practice public speaking, and learn how to translate technical terms into clear and concise language. Effective communication is essential for data analysts to have a positive impact on decision-making processes. In summary, while becoming a data analyst can be challenging, it's by no means impossible. Addressing the reasons I've discussed can help you overcome obstacles and build a successful career in data analysis. If you like this video make sure to watch my how i became a data analyst video as well thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one peace